Hi boys and girls, today is Thursday, May 7th. So let's get started with our phonics lesson. In phonics, we were adding a different letter to or letter sound to create a different word. Now here I have the word on. You see it on your screen four times, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another letter sound to make a different word. First one I'm going to add, I'm going to add an E. So this is the word one. So on, if you add the E, turns into one. Sun, not the sun that shines bright, but the sun like if you're a boy, your mommy has a sun. One and ton. Okay, so as that's what we've been focusing on, on all week. Um, so I gave you those examples. What I want you to do now is create your own examples with the this word that you see three times over here. It's the word and. So you see it three times. So if I, I'll show you an example of what I want you to do. If I add the p, P sound here to this and it becomes pan. So what I want you to do is I want you to uh, make two more words, make two more new words from adding another letter sound to them. And then I want to see, I want you to see if you have those new words that you made it at your house like mine i made the word pan so i'm gonna go look for a pan at my house i'm gonna take a photo of it and i'm gonna upload it to see so so that's what i want you to do i want you to make two other words and if you have that item in your house then you can take a photo of it and send it to me okay really easy peasy assignment for today just to wrap up the week so we're going to continue on with our reading lesson. So in reading, we were focusing on the main or central idea, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to listen to parts of our book so that we can complete our assignment. Now, most of you may have already done it on your own, but I wanted to model it for you again just to wrap up the week. Farm Babies. Click that subscribe button for more children's books. Pig. Piglets are sleepy little farm animals. They snuggle together in deep beds of straw. Their mother feeds them with milk until they are ready to start eating food. Now the baby pigs are called wieners and they can begin to explore outside. Cat. Cats are hard-working farm animals. They help the farmer by catching mice and rats. There's plenty of time for playing and sleeping, and cats and kittens can always find a snug corner or sunny spot for a snooze. Sheepdog. Sheepdogs are very smart and they learn fast. When a sheepdog puppy is just a few months old, it must begin its lessons. It will learn how to work on the farm so it can help the farmer. It still has time to sleep and play. Sheepdogs live with farmers and their families. The farmer teaches them to be obedient so they can help to round up the sheep. Puppies sometimes learn their skills by rounding up ducks or geese first. Pony. Ponies are usually smaller than horses. They have a sweet and gentle nature, so children often learn to ride on them. The hair on their head and neck is called a mane. Ponies have longer, fluffier manes than most horses. Wild Rabbit When the sun goes down, wild rabbits come out to play. They live with their families in burrows next to fields and under hedges. Baby rabbits nibble at flowers, but they also like to eat some of the plants that farmers grow. Donkey. 
Donkeys have been used as working animals for thousands of years. A mother donkey is called a Jenny, and her baby is a foal. The farmer lets donkeys eat grass in the fields and meadows. In winter, they eat hay and take shelter in barns or stables. When a foal is born, it is skinny, with long legs and ears. Foals can start to play outside when they are just a day old. But the Jenny keeps other donkeys away from her baby until it has grown a little stronger. Then it will join the rest of the family. Llama. This strange looking animal comes from South America. Farmers keep llamas so they can use the wool from their fur to make soft, warm cloth. A baby is called a calf or cria. When a mother is scared or wants to protect her baby, she might spit. Chicken. A mother hen lays her eggs in a nest. She sits on the eggs to keep them warm so the baby chicks can grow inside. When they are ready to hatch, the chicks begin to cheep and they peck at the eggshell to crack it open. A chick breaks its egg open and climbs out. It is tiny, soft, and wet. Its feathers soon dry out and the chick becomes a fluffy ball. It cheeps loudly and quickly finds the mother hen. Soon, its brothers and sisters hatch from their eggs too. Goat. Goat's milk can be used to make cheese. Baby goats are called kids. They have lots of energy and like to jump and run. Goats can be very noisy animals. Even kids make loud bleeps that sound like ba ba. Okay, so we use that as one of my second details. Look at the second part, which is right here. Okay, remember the main or central idea of this book was that this book is about mainly about farm babies. So I put on my second detail, baby goats are called kids. They have lots of energy. Okay, so that's one of my details. Let's see if we can find the other one. Goats like to explore and climb. They are curious animals and they enjoy finding new places where there are juicy flowers to eat. Some goats even climb trees or small buildings and walls. Horse. A newborn horse is wobbly on its legs. Just a few hours after being born, a foal can stand up and drink its mother's milk. A boy foal is called a colt and a girl foal is called a filly. Foals sleep in stables, but they love to go outside where they can run, jump, and explore. Foals play with other foals on the farm, but they always stay close to mom. She watches over her baby all the time. Sheep. Lambs are born in spring. They drink their mom's milk. Okay, so that was my third detail for this book. Lambs are born in spring. And as you can see over here in the book, right under where it says sheep, it says that exactly what I wrote down. Lambs are born in spring. So boys and girls, that is how I found my main idea and my details. So what I want you to do now is if you have not finished yours then you can continue listening to the book and you can or you could go back to yesterday's lesson and listen to the book again and pause it if you need to to find your details okay some of you like i said some of you may have already finished this and that's perfectly fine but i wanted to show you how i found my details so that you if you were still a little confused hopefully that helped you a little bit more Okay, so right now go ahead and pause the video, finish your reading assignment if you haven't, if you already finished it, good job. If you haven't, go finish it 
and don't start the video until you're ready to resume with Math. Welcome to math, boys and girls. Um, we are going to continue and actually finish our uh, coin combining and counting coin lesson. And um, so with that said, this is the activity that's going to be waiting for you on Seesaw. And um, I know that you all we usually do one together but i feel very confident in what i've seen and i'm i'm proud of you i know that it's not easy to understand coins and adding them and combining them and and all that stuff but um you guys have been doing really well so this is actually waiting for you in seesaw so go ahead and pause the video and start it back up when you're ready to go on to science all right well welcome to science and this is going to be an easy peasy uh activity this activity is actually based on what we've been focusing on which is the life cycle of a butterfly so i picked this fun activity because it's, it's fun and then you know it's kind of the last day that we normally have lesson for the week so i wanted to pick something fun for you so all you have to do is log on to Seesaw and it'll be there for you. And the directions say that you have to match the picture to the correct stage of the butterfly cycle. So for example, I'm gonna show you, it's gonna be wrong, so don't copy my answer. But if I think that this first stage is the butterfly stage, 
then I'm going to draw a line from the picture to the word. So, of course, you guys are too smart for that. You know that I did it wrong on purpose because I didn't want you to just copy mine. This activity will be waiting for you on Seesaw. So, boys and girls, this concludes our lesson for today. And um, what I would like to do is have a Kahoot session with you guys tomorrow on Friday. So, if you can do that, I will be sending a message tomorrow morning to your parents to let them know about what time we'll be playing Kahoot. I hope that I could see you there. Um, I hope that you're able to make it. If not, that's okay. We still have a couple more weeks of school left, so we'll definitely be playing Kahoot um, also those weeks, okay? So I hope to see you soon and um, have a good rest of your day.